folks, welcome back to another wonderful summer Parsha Dvar Torah. You know, I've been driving through the mountains and the hills in Pennsylvania through some of the farms, and I was thinking about this week's Parsha. There's a Pasuk in this week's Parsha that tells us about the Shabbat Haminim. And it's interesting, the Gemara tells us on this Pasuk that the word Eretz is twice in the Pasuk, with the beginning of the Pasuk and the end of the Pasuk, because the closer to the word Eretz the word is, the food is, the earlier the bracha is made. You see, we learn about the order of bracha, and this made me think about an interesting question. Why do we have an order in bracha? Why can't I make the bracha in any order that I want? Who cares whether I make an eitz or a dama first? Well, interestingly, I heard a very, a very nice concept about the idea that bracha and an order is very, very important. Bracha in general is us thanking Hashem for the wonderful things we have in life, and an order in that is because it reminds us that Hashem created the world with seder, with order. Order is very important in the world we live. Things have to be correct. Imagine if it was snowing in the middle of the summer or boiling hot in the middle of the winter. We couldn't go skiing or we couldn't go swimming. Order is very important. So we make brachot in the order. is to remind us of the order that Hashem put in the world and the way that Hashem runs the world is beseder, in an order. And we should think about that in terms of how we behave in general in a certain order, in the way we behave, in the way we act. Shabbat Shalom. Are you ready?